Hey, I'm Julie. And I'm Pete. And we're at EMS World in Orlando. And we are here at the Spencer kiosk. We wanted to talk about one of their cool products, which is the Rescue Splint. How is this vacuum splint different, Peter? So this vacuum splint has three different chambers in here. So it has one chamber, two chambers. So what that does is it keeps the beads all lined up on the one thing. So they don't get squished up then? So they don't end up on one side of oh, the splint. that's smart. So, yeah. Um, this one's for the arm or a leg. It really doesn't matter. Kind well, of how many so of these come in a kit? There's three different sizes that are in a kit. Oh. So this could be for like an arm or somebody's small leg. Oh, wow. It's a bigger a leg size. one. And then this could be like for an ankle or a foot. Um, and then you get this cool carry bag. So how do you use these? So the one thing that I found out with this is that the orange on all Spencer things, the orange is always on the top. Okay. Right? Um, and another interesting thing that I came across is that you don't need to use this straight. So like if somebody has like an angulated fracture, you can angle this to you know, to mold, you know, where they are and stuff like huh. that. So it can go... Around, yeah. Okay. Um, another thing is the more hands that you have when you're applying this, it works a lot better. So, so if you have a couple of providers on scene, yeah. even better. Yeah, yeah. Okay, even like great. a family. So, oh. you know, you want to wrap, so when you do it, you're going to wrap this over the top and stuff. And then as you pull out the air on here, then it takes out the, uh, the weight. The, um, it makes it more rigid. That's the word I'm looking okay. for. Rigid, rigid. Well, let's see. How does the pump work? All right. So they have this pump. This is the pump that comes with the kit. So huh. the hose, it attaches right to here. It's a super simple valve. Huh. It's just, you put it on and then you suck the air out. Um, if the person's able to do it, I would maybe have them pull the pump so that they can stop, you know, when, they, when it has relief. So, so if it's their leg or something. Yeah. Okay. So that makes sense. You just pull so you can't get any more air, or they or they receive the comfort from the from the split. Can you use your suction? For you this? can use your suction, um, somebody else's suction if your suction doesn't work. Okay. If you miss this hose, you can use the suction tubing, huh. or maybe even some oxygen tubing. That's nice. Or you can go to, to the hardware store and make another one. Um, the one thing that's important to do when you have these is you want to hold the valve. Before you pop it. Oh, okay, so you don't just tug at yeah, it. Yeah, don't tug it. Okay. Um, oh. Another thing I found is that you want to try to keep this toward, this is why the orange is here and this is at the bottom. So you want to have this at the bottom. So like, you don't want to put this up in somebody's crotch and then you got to attach I, it. I get it you. It'll be bad. And, uh, and another important. Yeah, don't cut it. Do not cut. Make sure the hospitals don't cut yeah. these as they are wont to do. Another thing is that if you break one of these, you don't have to buy a whole new kit. Oh, that's nice. How do yeah. you get another piece? So you would just call your distributor or whatever, or you can call Spencer and they'll, you know, if it's one of their issues, then they'll fix it. But if you know, it gets cut or broken or you lose a strap, you can, you can just buy one thing. Not you don't have to buy the whole set, yeah. That's yep. nice. Mm -hmm. oh, this seems like a pretty good, uh, pretty cool. Pretty good vacuum splint. Yeah, it's definitely impressed. Yeah. I like splints now. 